The full form of URL is Uniform Resource Locator. And as its name suggests, it helps us to locate a specific resource on the internet. But what do the different parts of a URL mean? At the beginning, we have the protocol. It is how your computer communicates with the website. You can't just ask for a date from a stranger. You first greet them, ask if they speak English, and then, well, I actually don't know how to ask for a date. But a protocol works like a protocol. HTTP protocol can be HTTP or HTTPS. HTTP means it will transfer your data to the website and vice versa. But HTTPS means it will transfer securely. Then we have the domain name. The domain name is not just the name of your website. It is actually where your website lives. Behind every domain, we have an IP address that tells the address of your website. How a domain works will be discussed in later videos. But next, we have the port number. A port number is a door to enter a house. With a different door, you can enter different parts of a house. When you visit a website, you usually use port 80 or 443, depending on HTTP or HTTPS. Then we have the path. This is the path to the resource you want. This path can be of the actual files of a server and their actual path. Or the server can interpret the path as the resource you want to get. Then we have query parameters. So when you request something, you might want to provide extra information for a better response. For example, if you want to access a profile, you would need to provide the exact profile ID. You can add to the parameter. The parameter will always be at the end of the URL after a question mark. You can also add multiple parameters with an and symbol. That's most of a URL. 